Hello guys, this video brings the insights of the concept Rook polynomials. And here is the definition. Consider a board that resembles a full chessboard or a part of a chessboard. As of now, let me consider a part of the chessboard with three columns and three rows. Let n be the number of squares present in the board. Here, n value is equal to 9 as the board contains 9 squares. Pawns are placed in the board such that not more than one pawn occupies a square. That is, in a single square, we are not supposed to place the two pawns. There is the room for only one pawn. Next, two pawns placed on a board having two or more squares are said to be capture each other if they are in the same row or in the same column of the board. Let me brief this point. If I place the first pan at this position, the second pan can be placed in the same row or in the same column of this placement. So here is the condition for 2 is less than or equal to k less than or equal to n. The board should contain the squares between the value 2 and n and k represents the to total number of pawns to be placed and rk denotes the total number of ways in which k pawns can be placed on a board. That is if we have 2 pawns that is k is equal to 2 then we are going to calculate r2 value. If we are placing the 3 pawns, that is k is equal to 3, then we are calculating the r3. That means the total number of placement of the 3 pawns on the given squares. And this equation is known as the Rook polynomial. That is 1 plus nx plus r2 into x square plus 1 up to rn into x power n. If the board given the name c, then r of c x is equal to 1 plus n x plus r 2 x square plus so 1 up to r n into x power n for n is greater than or equal to 2. Let it be the equation 1. For the trivial case, that is for the minimum case where n is equal to 1, that is the board contains only 1 square, the Rook polynomial, the equation becomes r of c x is equal to 1 plus x because 1 plus the n value is 1 because it contains only 1 square. The board contains only 1 square in it. So, as n is equal to 1, 1 plus x. And r2, r3, the next element r3, r4, rn value becomes 0. Because as there is only 1 square, we are supposed to place only 1 pan in it. And there is no room for the further placements of the second pan or a third pan likewise. Hence the equation becomes r of cx is equal to 1 plus x for n is equal to 1. The x, by combining the expression 1 and 2, the Rook polynomial is r of cx is equal to 1 plus r1 into x plus r2 into x square plus 1 up to rn into x power n. Let it be the equation 3. And here r1 is equal to n which is equal to number of squares in the board. So alternatively we can use r1 or n for the total number of squares present in the board. So let's understand this concept thoroughly by considering the simple example the board containing the 6 square from 1 to 6. So as board contains 6 squares the n value is equal to r1 is equal to 6. First, let me calculate the R2 value that is for the placement of the two pans over the board. If the first pan is placed at the position 1, by keeping in the mind the same row and the same column cannot be used for the further placement, the ordered pair for the placement is given by 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 5 and 1, 6. If the first pan at, is placed at the position 2, then the ordered pair is given by 2, 3, 2, 4 and 
two six. Next, for the position three, we have the ordered pairs three four and three five. By observation, we don't have any further placements for the two pairs. Hence, the total number of ordered pairs we are going to get is one two three four five six seven eight. So R two is calculated as eight. So next, let us have R three value. R three is the placement of three pans over the board. So the first pan can be placed at the position one, and we should keep in mind they should not capture each other. So second pan can be placed at the position three, and the third pan can be placed at the position five. Hence the ordered pair is given by one, three, five. Same way the second possibility is. Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four, such that they do not capture each other. So, by observation, these two are the only possibilities for the placement of three pans. So, R three is equal to two. So, let me try with the R four, that is placement of four pans. So, first pan can be placed over one. The second pan can be placed over three. And the third pan can be placed over five. By keeping in mind, they should not be in the same row or the same column of the previous placement. But here we don't have room for the placement of fourth pan. Two cannot be used, four cannot be used, as well as six cannot be used. Hence, as we can't place the fourth pan over here, R four can't be calculated. Hence, R four is equal to zero. So for the placement of two pans and a three pans possibilities, let me write the root polynomial r of c x is equal to one plus r one x plus r two x square plus r three x cube plus so on up to r n x power n. That is equal to one plus r one value six. That is squares total number square is equal to six. So six x. Plus R two is calculated as eight. So number of ways of placement of the two pans. So eight x square plus R three is equal to two. That is the total number of ways of placement of the three pans. So two x cube. So this is the resultant Rook polynomial for the placement of two pans and the three pans over the given six squares. So I think this is understand. Understood. So, let me catch you up in the next video with a few more examples on the rook polynomials. Thank you.